Hi, Tana Marshall here with your Feel Good Friday message. And today I want to talk to anybody who knows a caregiver. Not specifically if you are a caregiver, but if you know someone who is a caregiver, especially someone who is a caregiver full time, like I was with my mom for many, many years, I want to remind you to ask them how they're doing. How are you doing? If you're a caregiver, I'm going to ask you, how are you doing? Because it wasn't until just about a year or two before my mom died, we were visiting with some friends who had been caregivers. <clears throat> the woman's uh, stepmother required their care for the last, I forget how many years of her life, but they understood what I was going through. And we saw them for dinner and they said, how's your mom? But no, how are you doing? And I was taken aback because I was not used to people asking me how I'm doing. Everyone would always ask, how's your mom? How's your mom? How's your mom? And I would answer, you know, she's doing well, and we've got her on this regimen, and she's okay, and she's got dementia, and the memory's going, but she's happy, and she's healthy, and she's comfortable, and life is good for mom. And it didn't even occur to me that no one ever said, how are you doing? Because I was the one doing all the work. And so when they said that to me, I just felt so... It's like part of me inside crumpled up like, oh my God, someone asked about me. I kind of forgot about me because when you're a caregiver, you get pushed to the side and it's all about the person you're taking care of. And most outside people are going to be focused on the person you're taking care of as well. So caregivers, you know, I've been talking for years about self-care. You've got to take care of yourself. You've got to make sure you're putting on your oxygen mask first, or you will have nothing to give to the person you're caring for. But I want to talk to everybody else who knows a caregiver or is maybe related to one who's taking care of a loved one and they're doing it and you don't have to. Ask them how they're doing. That's the thing I asked my brother a few years ago. I said, the only thing I really need from you on a regular basis is for you to call me often, once in a while, whatever, and say, how are you doing? And he did it a couple times, but whatever. I knew he was there if I needed him. But it's really important and it's really meaningful to someone who's in that situation for someone to validate them and ask them and, and just acknowledge them. I see you. I know you're doing all this work. How are you doing? How are you? And sometimes they might be shocked like I was like, oh, me? I forgot about me. <laughs> Do I exist in this equation? I forgot. So just ask them how they're doing once in a while or anybody in this kind of situation. If there's a stay-at-home mom who's got a toddler and they don't get out very often or they've got more than one kid, ask them how they are doing, not how the kids are doing. How are you doing? Because everybody needs that. And you don't just ask people in general, how are you doing? Because maybe sometimes people have a big project going on or something that they're involved in or a situation that's happening. Make sure you ask people, how are you doing? And really listen to what they have to say. What is their response? How are they doing? Don't just do the offhand, how are you doing? Whatever, fine. Listen for a response and let them know you are listening and that you care about the answer, whatever it is. Like, I'm tired, I'm exhausted, I'm over it, but I'm still committed. <laughs> because <laughs> a lot of time that, that's going to be the case. And it may sound insensitive, but if you've been doing it a really long time and giving your all to somebody else, it can be exhausting and you need a break. Everybody needs to recharge their batteries and caregivers often just don't have the opportunity or it's just not possible for financial reasons or there's just no one else there to do it for you or to give you a break. So the least you can do is ask somebody how they're doing and really listen and offer support if you can. Maybe they can get out for lunch or maybe they, this person just needs to talk. I know that I kind of felt like a stay-at-home mom sometimes because I had so little adult conversation with people because it was just taking care of my mom. And that was kind of limited conversation. Yeah, we could talk, but the last six months she was in bed. She just wanted to sleep all the time. And so there wasn't a lot of conversation there. So it really uh, fed my soul to connect with friends and just have girl talk or get out for lunch and just feel like a normal person again. <laughs> so, uh, but that's a whole other thing. Just ask someone, how are you doing? That's all I'm going to say. Just recommend that to you, to anyone that you know who is in some kind of situation where maybe the attention is not focused on them very often, if ever. Put
put it on them because they deserve it. And I just appreciate the people that did that for me, who brought it to my attention like, oh yeah, me, forget about me. <laughs> So, um, so I hope that helps. If you know someone in this situation, if you are in this situation, you can ask this of the people in your life. Just call me once in a while and ask me how I'm doing. That's all I need. Just let me know you care, that you appreciate what I'm doing. And you might not even be getting it from the person you're caring for, depending on their, their state. You know, if someone has Alzheimer's or dementia, they don't know what's going on. They don't know you've given up your life to take care of them. So they might not be able to thank you. My mom did all the time, all the time. And I was always grateful for that, even when she didn't always remember who I was. She would always say, oh, thank you. Thank you. You're taking such good care of me. Thank you. So it's really, really, re oh God. <sighs> Sorry. Sorry. Hold on. Shoot. Sorry. I'm going to be doing another message about letting it out, but this is not that message. I'll do that next. But right now, how am I doing? I don't know. I just had a little crying spell. I'm going to get back on track. I'm doing okay. Thank you for asking. <laughs> ah, I hate that. Okay. So thank you to the people who have asked me, how are you doing? And then asked how my mom is doing. I always appreciated it. So I'm going to ask you, how are you doing? And if you're going through something difficult, I just want to say, I'm here for you. And I appreciate whatever you're doing. It matters. And you will be rewarded on some level. Just hang in there and take care of yourself while you're in this situation because that's really all you can do. So I just want to thank you again for joining me this week. It really means a lot to me. I appreciate it. Sorry about the little, little uh, tearing up. Uh, but I know you get it. Thank you. <clears throat> so if you enjoy these messages, remember to subscribe. And if you would like them delivered to your inbox every Friday, jump over to my website, tannamarshall.com, join the mailing list, and you'll get these videos with a special little note for me that only goes out to my list. So thanks again for joining me this week. And just remember to ask people, how are you doing? It will mean the world to them. I know it did to me. And if you're in this situation, I know it'll mean the world to you. So I'm with you. I care about you. I'm here for you. Take care of yourself. And I'll see you next time.